Hey guys, it's Jack with Kapwing. If you guys watch streamers, you guys might have seen a VTuber before. VTubers are streamers who never show their true faces and they use avatars or AI in place of their face when they're speaking. If you want to stream but you don't want to show your face because you might want to remain anonymous or something like that, then being a VTuber could be a great solution for you. And the easiest way to do this is by using reactive images of an avatar of your choice through Discord because it'll keep your audience members engaged visually and also help with branding of your channel through the avatar of your choice. So today we're going to show you the easiest way to make reactive images. And to do this, all you're going to need is a Discord account and a Streamlabs OBS account. All right, let's get started. Find an avatar that you want to use. So this can be something that you've drawn or something that you've commissioned, or it could just be an image that you found from the internet. So I'm just going to use our company's logo, the Kapwing Cat, and then I just dropped it onto my desktop over here. So once you find your image that you want to be your avatar, then you're going to go to kapwing.com by clicking the first link in the description because as you can see this is not a PNG or transparent and you want him to be cut out or you want whatever character that you have to be cut out because otherwise your avatar will have a block of white behind them and we want them to be transparent so they stand out in front of the background. So you'll click the first link in the description and then you can sign in. It's completely free. All you have to do is sign in with Google or Facebook or through email and it'll just make it so that when you export you don't have a watermark on your picture. Then you're just going to drag in the picture that you want to use. And then you're going to click the picture and then click the erase button. So there's two methods here. You can use the magic wand where you click or select a part of the image and then it should try and highlight using AI the portions that you don't want. But usually this works best when you have a white background, but I know not everyone has that. So if that doesn't work, you can click the erase button and then you can do it manually. And usually what I do is I slide it all the way to 200 and I just start erasing everything, and then I'll go in after with a more precise eraser. While you're erasing, you can also press the shift button, and then it will make a nice clean line like that while you're dragging it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Then you're just going to click done. And as you can see, it is cut out. So now you're just going to export the image. And then once it's ready, download it to your computer and just throw it on your desktop. Okay, so next you're going to click the second link in the description, which will take you to discord-reactive-images.fugi.tech. And then you're going to log into your account and make sure to have your Discord open so that it knows what account you're trying to log into because it connects to your Discord right now. When you log in, it'll ask you to authorize, but because I've already done it, it doesn't do it, but just allow them to get into your Discord account. And then you can click these little camera buttons and then upload your images. And you can upload the same image to both. And as you can see, one will be darker, which is when you will not be speaking. And the lighter version will be when you are speaking. You also can do two different images. So if you have an image, for instance, of the Kapwing cat with its mouth closed, then that would be great for when you're not speaking. And then if you have an image of your avatar with the mouth open, then that would be great for when you are speaking. Then you can decide if you want the bounce effect. I recommend it. It just makes it so when you start speaking, your little avatar bounces a little bit, which makes it a little more pleasing to the eye, I think, and also a little bit more commanding. So people look at it more and you can just press the apply button. Also very important to remember is you must click the save button on both of these before it will work. And then once that's done, you're going to just copy this link, the second link, not the first link. You're going to copy the one that says you and that is longer. The next thing you're going to do is make sure that Discord is open and then you also have to be in a voice channel. In order for this to work, you must be in a voice channel, not a regular channel. If you aren't, then these images will not show up on Streamlabs. So then you're just going to open up your Streamlabs. OBS and then you're going to add a new source then you're going to click browser source right here on the left and then click add source and you can change the name if you want and then you're going to put in the link that you just copied right there and then change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 and then it should fill up your full screen and then click done then just wait a moment and it should populate and then you can change the size of your avatar just by dragging the corners up and down, moving it around and such. Also, if it never lights up like you're speaking, just make sure you're not muted. And if that doesn't work, then you can go to your Discord settings, then go to voice and video. 
and then you can change your audio input or you can also go to the bottom of the screen and then reset your audio settings completely and that should work. And as you can see, this works like a charm. This is how I would stream if I were a streamer and playing games. I was just playing a browser-based game and as you can see, it lights up when I'm speaking and then it goes dark when I'm not. And now you can scream without having yourself on camera but still having an engaging avatar as a replacement. All right guys, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and also check out our discord to keep up with other kapwingers and with the kapwing staff if you're watching this video i know you have a discord so come on comment down below what you would like to see next on our channel and i'll see you guys in the next one